We have arrived to St. Lucia, a tropical island in the Caribbean Sea, where I met local people, Are you a writer? some yeah. artists, and went up to the Pitons. <sighs> Here's all the view! This time our journey starts from Mantiga. We sailed for night and day to go directly to Merigo Bay of St. Lucia. A Turkish paradise bay in the wild nature, surrounded by small villages and white sandbars. I am sailing together with Simon, Kim and Sienna, who are hosting me on their sailboat Pritikan. This bay is also one of their favorite ones. Just a perfect spot where to live on the yacht and get the best out of this amazingly beautiful nature. And if you didn't know yet, I just love palm trees. As soon as I saw this bay, I fell in love with it immediately. Many local people in this area work in tourism, even though, compared to other Caribbean islands, St. Lucia didn't seem to me a very touristic place. The local government is also trying to revitalize the banana industry, which has been heavily impacted by hurricanes. But it is still one of the main incomes for St. Lucians. After this long sail, we decide to relax in the pool. While living on sea, it's also great to go on the land once in a while. Welcome to St. Lucia. I am sailing around the Caribbean Sea and we just arrived at this new island. We had a 24-hour sail from Antigua directly here. And I'll call it also a banana island because I can see just like banana trees everywhere. So I just love it. St. Lucia's population is about 180,000 people and the official language is English. But whenever I went around, I heard people speaking mostly in their local language Creole, which is much more similar to French than English. I have a cam camera, I have a camera almost like this. You have? Oh, okay, good. Yeah, but the thing is from Magnet and the films, the films. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's your camera, wow. It's working on all. Nice. But the films. Yeah. I can't get it. Yeah, on the film, okay. It's working, everything working. Devia! Devia, I probably record too. Thank you for showing me that. It's a really, really nice camera. Anyway, yeah. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> I'm Chiara. Nice to meet you. Yeah, see you again. All the people I met were always welcoming me on their islands. They were happy to see foreign people visiting St. Lucia, and it was just very easy to communicate with them. This is an open air barber shop. It was wonderful to see people living such an easy life and even running their activities in the open air. I got to see a more wild side of the island many banana fields and tropical birds. I also walked through many small villages with colorful wooden houses. Are you a writer? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I saw you singing before. Were you singing? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I got a about His Majesty. Wow. In the suffering, but yeah. He's in Peru, he's in Asia, of Ethiopia, to Rastafari. Praise him in the sun, praise him in the wind, praise him in the rain, praise him. Highly Selassie again, seed of David, the Baba Janai. Nice, did you write it all? Yeah. Wow! You yeah, very good. This is the sound of the night. The frogs that seem to be singing as birds. Every new day in the Caribbean islands is full of bright sun, beautiful waves and hot, humid air. I love how easygoing and relaxed all the atmosphere is. And this is David. He is also selling with us for a week on Pretty Can. It was time to go up to the Beatons. We took a taxi from Merigo Bay, driving through Sofir, which is the closest town to the Beatons. 
all I write was either full of colorful houses, bright colored nature, or amazing views. Climbing up to the Pitons of St. Lucia, which is also one of the main attractions in St. Lucia. We are in the southeastern part of the island, and the Pitons are basically volcanic plaques, uh, very high ones. The one we are climbing up today, it's about 790 meters high. It's quite a nice walk. <laughs> And I'm sweating like way too much, even though I love walking. And we even have like shade here, but still nice climbing. But if you've made it this far, yeah. nothing will prevent you from making it to the top. Okay. Thank you. I got friends here, honey. When you check it, you're closer to the top than the bottom right now. So. Okay, that's not comforting. I would imagine I want to say <laughs> I want you to say that I am so close to the top. You are close to the top. Yeah, but okay. that's why that's You're closer why I told to the you top than the bottom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so but why why choose go back down when you can I'm just not come going. Eh, but, well, are you kidding? Back up. <laughs> Finally, we have a ride up here uh, on top of the crop. How do you say it? Crop piton. Crop Okay. So finally, we have a ride up here uh, on top of the crop piton, which is the biggest piton here in Saint Lucia. It's about 800 uh, meters high, and here's all the view. It's just beautiful. <laughs> I just love how tropical this place is. There are like all those green plants everywhere and it's almost like a rainforest. I really don't know, maybe it is a rainforest. I love it. I mean, I love almost everything here in the Caribbean, but just look at this. It took one full day to go up and down the beaten. This has been one of the most difficult hikes that I have ever done. But it was definitely worth it. It was time to go back on the sea, starting our sail again and leaving St. Lucia. I'm sure there will be so much more to see in here and I can't wait to come back one day. I want to meet more amazing St. Lucians and discover more of this wonderful island. New countries are ahead of us and I'm so happy to have seen this beautiful part of St. Lucia. 
In the next episode, you will see. We will sail to Backway and visit the Backway's vegetable markets. A potato of the Caribbean! We will be fishing and sailing to more new islands. Behind me, we have the Happy Island. And of course, I will show you all the crystal clear water of this magical place. Please check out also Sailing Pretty Can YouTube channel to see what it's really like to travel around the world on a yacht.